Hey troops, Roy Fink Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! Broadcasting from the Clintonville section of Columbus, Ohio in the fall. Yeah, it's it's October. Wow, it really does feel like fall. <laughs> um, got another action review, uh, action figure review for you. Um, this it's another McFarlane piece. Um, this one is from the latest, um, from the latest part of the Batman Curse of the White Knight line. This one is based on the um, remember Nightfall from back in the day, Bane breaking his back, blah blah blah. It's the Azrael in Batman armor. The most insane piece of armor <laughs> um, for any Batman figure. One of the most insane bat um, piece of armor for a Batman figure. Um, so, let's go. Um, basic box for the for the McFarlane line, of course. Um, the cool, you know, the cool spines that are kind of like a, like a book, basically, on your shelf. On the back would be really cool art. And... The figure itself! Ta-da! Um, based on the, let's see, the DC Superhero, the, um, the figure, like I said, it's a little click, like Nightfall Batman, if you want another frame of reference, this is from the DC, this is from the DC Superheroes line from 1999. Um, this is before Azrael went totally off the reservation with the funky, like, machine gun thing and the the cape thing with the wings on it and junk. Um, this version of the Batman armor, and this time got mutated into this. And like the McFarlane pieces, it's a beautiful piece of work. Um, this thing is huge. This is the Arkham Batman that just came out recently. <laughs> this is Astral. Um, oh, comes with a sword, and I'm a dork, and I left the sword over there but the same sword basically that's used in the Azrael figure um but yeah it's now the bad news is that the articulation because it is a large figure little things like the elbows get to be an issue um but it's still double jointed knees um hips kind of um an odd thing, which I think is with my figure, if you look at the feet, they're kind of twisted and weird. So this might be less a actual issue with the figures as a whole, but just the one I got. Um, but, I mean, look at the detail on this thing. Um, oh, and you've got these giant shoulder blades. The nice thing, but you want to be careful, is that these, these are movable posts. They're on a post with a ball joint underneath here. So there is, it's not spectacular level of motion, but you know, you get enough. It's not bad. And of course you get the giant plastic cape. I, I like the plastic capes. Um, they drape, they, they look, they don't look like a piece of vinyl that your mother made for you to stick on an action figure. Okay. But um, I mean, look at the detailing here. I mean, you know, the, 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 the utility belt on the back and everything. Um, the gorgeous claws on the hand. Just wow. So it looks very, very cool. Um, oh, and you got the little nice little touch of the little spines on the neck. Um, just overall, though, so a really nice figure. Um, if you want to have something that you know, kind of harkens back to the 90s with Nightfall, this is a great figure to get. I'm um, kind of wondering if, if, if McFarlane is going to be doing some retro one with the ultra, the ultimate version of this, you know, with the giant chain chain belt of ammunition and all that other foolishness that was so insane. But it was kind of cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there you go. And, you know, you got... You know, I am the true bat. I am the true bat. You know, Alfred says you're, you are even more maladjusted than I am. I, uh, I, yeah, you're, Alfred's right. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> Did the Joker ever run into John Paul Valley and just kind of went, 
dude, you need help. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Yay! More figures. Yay! More things add to your show. Woo! So anyway, um, hey, y'all have a good rest of the weekend. Um, may the odds be in your favor. May the force be with you. And as always, be good to each other. Okay, peeps. Y'all take care. Peace. Seriously. Peace. Bye.